Battlefield having bots? What is this? Yes, you will be able to play maps offline and still progress through the game. Why are bots so cool and important? Bots allow us to revisit the game many years in the future and allow for those who don't have the best internet to still engage with the game. It is very likely you will be required to have an internet connection still to even open Battlefield, but for those with very little bandwidth, this is an opportunity to still have a Battlefield experience. Now, I haven't mentioned this before, but for the last... So, I've only had the city's upgraded internet for two years now. Before, we were sitting on like three megabits very low. I know there's others that have even lower numbers, so I'm not going to sit there and complain. But now internet's improved but i know there's lots of other people that still live with crappy internet so it's a really great feature just to have so you can still enjoy the game and this will also add the feature of me being able to revisit the game in 10 years not only for those who have crappy internet but for those who want to test out new loadouts or just play with a few friends against the bots it gives an extra option and extra options when done right can just make a game better it will also be possible for exploring easter eggs new content and weapons sick of joining servers that aren't full bots are going to keep the server full while waiting for players to join so if the worst of the worst happens and you have people leaving the game mid-match then you can still count on having some form of team that is probably one of the most annoying things in Battlefield when people just rage quit halfway through because we're getting thrashed. Especially for the few of us that like to stick by and then just play. So by just allowing the bots to stay, we still have a formidable fighting force and we're not just surrounded by enemies. It's not the best, but it's better. It is questionable. How are they going to scale the bots difficulty wise? Will it be one level the whole time that players will go against? Or will they scale depending on the level of the player? I believe that on the multiplayer, the difficulty will be global. However, still somewhat dynamic, responding to the feedback of players. So the difficulty can be fixed if it's too easy or too difficult. That's how I see them going. It will probably be pretty easy. It's an important level to consider. Using bots in the game should mean that less skilled players are able to take on them. As this game is marketed to a wider audience, they need to take into account the less abled players who just jump on for fun. Now, it's not always fun just getting absolutely destroyed and bots are kind of meant to be that little feeding ground that people have so they can get some kills instead of just always dying. Making bots super sane will result in a very negative response from casual players while people who want more of a competitive style of battlefield match will enjoy it more. Now that's generally more niche because the casual audience tends to be a lot larger. Some games are different but for a game like battlefield that's being mass marketed it's more of a casual game. So most likely the bots are not going to be too hard to kill. Just another positive is that if they decide to add extra bots in say, in so say we are on the 64v64 mode, if DICE decides to add 20 extra bots, that's 10 each on each side filling up the map. So that you don't just get stuck running around. Because remember they've been talking about how these maps are going to be larger than ever at a bigger scale. What's going to help with filling that scale? Having some bots. Because realistically, they could go to... 250 players and that works really well but if the game starts getting more quiet you're not going to have that many servers and it's going to be a struggle to feel them so that's a balancing issue you gotta think of i know it sounds great to have 500 players but when you think about it you gotta feel a lot of lobbies and if the game does well yeah it, d it did well but if the game does poorly or in other regions that are less populated you're gonna have a struggle feeling the matches so bots are a way of adding an extra level of scale to it while not depending on having a massive player count in the region, especially in the more quiet places. So you won't get stuck running around, hopefully. It would be a good idea to possibly have a mode that does feature extra bots, so you don't need to have them in the main mode. But maybe you could have conquest bots or something. It just adds extra bots to the game that you can play with, with normal players. That is an option. We haven't seen a proper conquest game be played yet, so who knows? But in the beta, we should probably find that, but they always make changes. We can't really confirm anything like that. Or even maybe a solution to this problem with difficulty is if someone is filling in for a real player, maybe make them a higher quality bot. And if they're just an extra bot, make them really low quality, something that can be easily taken. Still kind of have what you would have expected if you're playing against a player. Then we have the really easy mindless drones that could help. But we haven't really seen the AI working yet, so it's going to be curious. I'm curious to see what level they will have them at. It's all about balancing on the thin line to make sure that 
as many people as possible, please. You're not going to please everyone. The idea is to please as much people as possible. What do you think about having bots on top of a full server? So having an extra 20 bots. Do you reckon that will make it better or worse? I want to hear your feedback. Battlefield Portal may also have a new level of death. Like doing death matches of some sort of small teams against massive hordes of bots. The one we saw the quality versus quantity, I know it's going to be a struggle to fill up a lot of servers. So if you have four friends, you can just put in the bots. You can just have them all raid you or something. You can have like 60 bots raid you. You get the point though. So it does add extra to have those bots available. And if you want to be creative, I'm sure there's going to be lots of options for you in Battlefield Portal with bots. Bots may seem like a small feature, but it really does improve the quality of the game significantly. We get full servers and more custom mobility. It's also good for people exploring maps, finding out features, Easter eggs, and more, which I can't wait for. You can go through the whole leveling system also. So you're not going to be missing out. That will mean you don't have access to every single weapon. Depending on how they do leveling, you won't have access to all the weapons and stuff like that. So you will have to level up like everyone else to get them. Those were bots. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is my first new video with this mic and I believe it has improved the audio significantly. Let me know if you can tell the difference. So those Tuesdays are being filmed as we speak. So more videos will be coming out soon. If you did stick around for this long, Please leave a like, that's all I want. See you next time guys, I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, just comment it below. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time, peace.